It's showtime. The lights are on, the curtains have been drawn, the crowd's here. And this crowd, just a few minutes ago, came down the escalators at the Toronto International Automobile Show like kids coming down the stairs looking for the Christmas presents. All the toys are here. And not only that, we're going to take a close look at the toys for sure. We're also going to have a chance to talk to some of the people that build them. This is going to be a great show. Stick around. If you're an enthusiast, this is an enthusiast look at the Canadian International Automobile Show. really excited about bringing the Dodge Challenger RT Shaker Edition to the Canadian International Auto Show. A couple of reasons. One, there's a real rich heritage there. You know, if you think about muscle cars, there's two things that people really know over the history, and one being the legendary Hemi, and then secondly, Shaker. Dodge has a hundred years of heritage, you know, and again, uh, from a standpoint of performance, Dodge has really been at the forefront when it comes to racing and so forth. The Shaker was last out in the market in 1971. So all this time later, here we are today at the 2014, and we're really bringing this vehicle back to life. So we're really excited about it. And as you can see by the colors on it, people are gonna know you're coming down the road. It is something that's gonna turn heads. Today we've introduced for the first time at an auto show in North America the 911 GT3 Cup race car, uh, which will be running in our Ultra 94 GT3 Cup Challenge. You'll see these cars on track uh, at five different weekends here in Canada. We'll be at the Toronto Indy for the first time in July. Uh, in August we'll be at the Grand Prix de Trois-Rivières, uh, which we did for the first time last year. You know, Canada is kind of where one make racing started with Porsche so back in the 80s. Uh, and this is a real kind of passion project for us. So. Um, we really thought it was important to show off the new car and to talk about the new series here. The differences between this car and the last GT3 Cup car um, is that it has a sequential gearbox with paddle shifters for the first time, a uh, substantially different wheel and tire package. Uh, actually, the wheels and tires and the brakes uh, are off of the old 997 RSR, so much, much more serious uh, wheel, tire, and brake package. It's the world's most popular race car. This happens almost every year at the car show. I, I fall in love with a different car. Uh, this year's is a Team Canada Red, you know, the Olympic team. Team Canada Red Chevy Camaro. It's a race car that's got a space for a license plate bracket on the front of it too. This car is remarkable. Among other things, it's, it's all about being a track car. If you look on the inside, there's uh, no buttons for an air conditioner. Air conditioning is an option. It's only got one speaker on the radio because you have to have one speaker for the seatbelt chime to be legal. Inside the wheel wells, carbon ceramic brake rotors. They're 40 pounds lighter than the steel ones. Instead of having 20, it's got 19 inch wheels. Again, there's a weight saving there, about, about 40 pounds there too. The rest of the car, when you get around to the front of it, the real reason it's three seconds a lap faster at Virginia International Raceway is because it's lighter. 300 pounds lighter than the 80 horsepower stronger ZL1 supercharged car behind it. This car's got it all, but the real secret is under the hood. Underneath, the same 427 or a similar 427 uh, to the LS7 that was in the uh, Corvette Z06 a year ago. 500 horsepower, strong. 7,000 RPM, 427 aluminum block heads. It's got it all, titanium intake valves. It's a race engine, the Chevrolet Camaro that you can drive on the street. And, well, with the Olympics, it's Team Canada Red. How could you go wrong? It's worth falling in love with. It's great to be here at the Canadian International Auto Show in Toronto. We just unveiled this vehicle here, the new F-Type R Coupe with 550 horsepower. So uh, if that doesn't put a smile on, on your face, you're probably dead. <laughs> you know, it's been pretty much 50 years since Jaguar had a two-seater Roadster, you know, back to the E-Type. So it's really great to get back to the roots with these two-seater sports car that looks as great and drives as great as this car does. It's got a lot of, lot of technology in addition to the horsepower and the balance. So it's, it really is, you know, um, 
It's a great combination. Uh, it's a wonderful car on the highway for cruising, distances, comfortable, and yet you have this kind of Jekyll and Hyde personality. It wants to get out on the track and then let me go. It's very rewarding for us to be able to talk about a car that was top secret two years ago, couldn't say anything about it, um, so now, so now it's, it's fun to, to, to talk about, reveal some of the little stories and development things that we did on the car. And, and uh, I, think, uh, I think people appreciate some of the thought and some of the process and, and just some of the hard work that went into getting this car done. It definitely is a team effort and it's a good cooperative effort that, that goes into these cars. And you can see in the success where when you have a good synergist effort between design and engineering, it, it really plays out to a, a good solution. I, I tell you, the goal with, within the C7 has always been about enriching the driving experience of the car. We're excited to, to offer on, on this Z06 three levels, a three-level aero package. You know, being level three means your max downforce car, which level three also gives you three pieces, two front end plates and a rear wheel wheel that the customer can either put on the car, take off, or in the case of the rear wheel, he could, he could adjust it up and down depending on how he likes the car and how it handles on the track for it. The proportional uh, presence of the car is big, the sculpture of the car, the beauty of the car, you know, because there's a, there's a balance here. You know, we, we, want, we want the car to be functional and fast, but it also has to have, it can also be a very, a very compelling appearance as well. Thanks for joining us for an enthusiast look at the Canadian International Auto Show here in Toronto. The show is underway, the crowd's starting to build, and the stuff they're going to see, well, we've already seen most of it. Sporty cars, race cars, stuff that's on the fine line in between someplace, and some of the toy makers too. It's been a great drive. Thanks for coming along for the ride.